essentially Cheek Badger is a, a theatre company that permits me and Nick to work together um, under our own auspices. Um, so we get to decide the plays we do, we get to decide the actors who are in them, we get to decide where we perform, um, and we um, have to scrabble around finding money to make that happen. Um, but it's basically our artistic independence, um, and it's incredibly important for us. Well, I design, I design everything, the sets and costumes, everything that you see, and Declan directs. So it basically, Cheek by Jowl is our work together. And that's been the case now for since 1981. We do genuinely go in with a blank canvas, and that is quite um, frightening. But after 30 years, somewhere you know that you will come out at the end with something effective and concrete and um, that the actors can deal with. We meet the actors first, work with the actors first, and then decide on what the space is going to be like, how it's going to be designed, what they're going to be wearing. Um, and that's quite difficult. Um, it's very important that you harness the life that you can get from the actors, that you exploit the life that's coming from the actors into, the, into every aspect of, of, of the play that you're going to do. European theatres were interested, so we were invited to go to Spain uh, out of the Edinburgh Fringe and to Jerusalem. Um, and in fact, we performed in Madrid and in Jerusalem before we performed in London. For years, we've had a, we've been able to work with the Chekhov Festival in Moscow, and we've already produced Ubu Wa um, with French actors. We now produce our own work in the Russian language and in the French language with actors whom we already know. Um, in theatres that we already know. I think one of the reasons why theatre is very important is that we see different people in different extraordinary situations. And I think that when we put on plays, um, I think one of the reasons we go to the theatre actually is in a way to train our empathy. We see people in extreme situations, some of which we hope we will never be in ourselves. You know, very few of us are ever going to kill the King of Scotland. But we see people in extreme situations and, and, and we empathise. Our hopes for the future are essentially um, the same as to, to, to be able to carry on doing the similar work as we've always done, which is very ambitious plays with large companies playing in relatively small spaces. Economically, it's very, very tough, and it becomes harder and harder. And, but that's our aim, is to stay small and intimate, and I think that's the key to all great theatre experiences is a relationship between the audience and the actor. That's what makes really a moving theatre. We do crave and need intimate experience, and that's what theatre offers. There's something intimate about it. I mean, you're actually watching living people doing living things, and that's very, very important. And it's so easy to lose sight of, of that. Mm -hmm.